Alice Green of City and Color and Alexis on Fire is a jackass. Let's do a story time. It's 2009 and I'm at the Vans Warped Tour in Toronto. I am getting to see all of my favorite bands for the first time and I was told by the elder emos in my life that if you're calm and you're patient, when you're at the Warped Tour, you'll actually see a lot of your favorite artists just like walking around and mingling. And if you calmly go up to them, they'll talk to you. And that day, I had had the opportunity to chat with some of my favorite bands at the time, uh, the lead singer of Big D and the Kids Table, and some of the members of Silverstein. I was in a great mood. I was vibing. And then, just over there, I see Dallas Green. One of the key things that I was told is that you don't make a scene, you walk over calmly, you don't say anything loud, you don't draw attention because they don't want crowds forming. And he's just there with like one other person, it wasn't another band member, and I just walk up to him and I say, hey man, I'm, I'm a huge fan of your work. Uh, my girlfriend couldn't be here today, and uh, I was just wondering if you could sign this pass. She's a huge fan of yours, and I would love to give this to her. And he just looks at me, puts his hands up, and he says, sorry kid, we did our signings on Queen Street last week. And he walked away. I was 15 years old. And I know that doesn't sound that harsh, but I've actually talked to a lot of people over the years about this. Dallas Green is notoriously a jackass. I've heard other stories of young teenagers going up to him and saying that they're a fan of his work and him just being like, please don't talk to me. Or him being rude to people who work at venues. And here's the thing, I get it. People want their personal space. It sucks if you're constantly being harassed, but Alexis on Fire isn't that big. And for the most part, musicians, when they're not that large, most people don't recognize their faces. If somebody recognizes your face, Dallas, it's because they love your work. They know all of your work. They appreciate you. And I've had nights in Toronto where I get stopped three or four times and people want to stop and chat or just say hi or just say, hey, I love your work. And, and you know what? Even when I'm in a bad mood or if I'm grumpy, I still smile and I say thank you and I move on. I've had long conversations with people at concerts about becoming a teacher. I've had conversations with people at Wonderland while our, my kids are on a ride just about parenting or about politics. And not everybody wants to chat. Sometimes somebody just wants to say, hey, I appreciate the work you do. You wave and you move on. Because most interactions are positive like that. I have had bad interactions before. One time I was walking down the street in Toronto with my wife. It was our anniversary. And some dude just like pulls over to the side of the street in their car, rolls down the window and just screams, Hey, you're the TikTok guy! Scared the living hell out of my wife. And I just waved to the guy and said, Yeah, thanks man, have a good night. And we kept walking. Anyway, yeah, Dallas Green can be a jerk, but he makes some really good music. This Could Be Anywhere in the World is probably one of my favorite songs ever to hear live. And Dallas, if you somehow see this, I don't hate you, but 15-year-old me definitely did. That interaction really bummed me out.